Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Still doing work on the 1987 Dodge Raider. I've got a lot of little things done, um, mostly maintenance items. Like there was no instrument panel bulbs. I've been getting the carburetor tuned up, mainly by reducing jet sizes and accelerator pump sizes and everything else. But I also made one big, big change today. And that's what you're about to see, slash here, I guess. If you remember when we first started it, it had the exhaust basically cut right behind the manifold to extremely loud. It doesn't have any exhaust, so it's pretty loud. If you listen to it now, that's not extremely loud because I built my own exhaust system for the first time ever. It was actually pretty cheap. Uh, I had a few 45s and things that were two inch pipe. So I went and got some straight sections from the parts store and a cheap muffler, which by the way, it was not as cheap as it used to be. Last time I bought it, it was $29. This time it was 51. So prices are going up on everything, I guess. But what I'm saying is that with about three pieces of straight pipe, three elbows and a, a muffler and exhaust tip, I built my own exhaust system. It cost me about a hundred bucks total. And uh, let's take a look at it, shall we? That's by no means perfect, but starting up here where I've got kind of welded hand clamps, just because I couldn't get all the way around on the weld, so I did both. It's also welded here. I'm gonna take the clamp off. The clamp is there temporarily for the right length. I slid these two pipes together. I had to make a couple of pie cuts and bends here. Just cut out little slices, bent the pipe over, and welded those sections up. This was the hardest part, was getting it through here with another pie cut and keeping it off of this cross member. I can take this clamp off, that's as welded as that's going to get now, it's about 90%. Then it's got a 45 that goes up to our muffler. Our muffler is in basically the stock location, a little bit smaller than the original. It's coming back over the axle. It's clamped here, not welded, just because I had no space to get to it. Now, comes up, another 45 out here, that's clamped only because the pipe is two and a quarter down to two inch, which doesn't weld really well, that's a big gap. And it also makes this removable if I ever want to change the exhaust tip. Come out here, one more hanger and an exhaust tip, weld it onto my two inch pipe, and that's it. First time I have ever built my own exhaust, and it sounds pretty good. Let's rev it up and see what happens. I mean, come on, for a little Mitsubishi four-cylinder engine and a home-built exhaust system, that's not bad. Oh, all right, well, anyways, that's what's been going on lately. I also caught in the background that I've also got this thing registered and plated now. So, I've got a few more things to do that'll be in upcoming episodes before this thing goes out on the road. Like, I've got to fix the rear hatch. I've got to work on the brakes, which I haven't really taken a look at. The pedal's soft, but if you pump it, it stays. So, I don't know if it's air or if there's a leak somewhere. If there is a leak, it's a small one, which makes it drivable, but not really. Uh, and I've got some more carb tuning to do because while it runs okay right now, it's still pig rich. It's just not rich enough to make it run bad, I guess. So that's gonna do it for today. Made my own exhaust system and it doesn't sound bad for about a hundred bucks. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll see you next time.